But it's a project that tries to explore the relationship between jazz and art, really. We did an exhibition in a gallery and we got 80 artists to listen to the music from five musicians. Um, I don't think people knew what to expect. So we had all the artwork in the gallery, that was all around the walls. And then we had this screen, a screen of blank white canvases. And um, all the audience came in, they sat down. No one knew quite what was going to happen. It was like secretive. So the musicians were hidden behind these white screens. And slowly, as they started to play, we got influenced by one another. The musicians were, um, I started to draw and the musicians were feeding off what I was drawing and I was listening to them and um, interpreting what they were, um, how they were playing, giving some sort of physical um, nature to what's a, a kind of an ephemeral sound. Yeah, I think that's how he, how everybody knows about him because um, all, the, all, all the you know the, he sort of says that all, all of his uh, all of his pictures become people's Facebook profiles and um, he gets people phoning him up saying, "Where's my picture?" You know, for my Facebook profile. <laughs> uh, you usually find me somewhere uh, squirrelled away at um, a seat in a bar somewhere, sketching away, furiously sketching away. Live work is where I'm at, and um, I really feed off the, the, the music and the live environment. My my role was to kind of, as well as sort of play was to was to kind of look at the uh, keep an eye on the time. So I had a. Um, I, Gordon had said how long each piece would take, you know, each drawing would take, and um, so we had to try and kind of, you know, uh, fit the, the music to. But obviously, I could see what he's doing as well. But um, not not so much. I mean, I was concentrating on the play, on the playing, probably more than than you know. Obviously, there's kind of all you know that sort of, or what is it going to be? But um, uh, but uh, yeah, just trying to hold the, the playing together really. <laughs> I've spent enough time in jazz clubs to, to know the rhythm and the order of how things work and their relationship as well. Um, so I was listening um, to the rhythms and trying to get that into the artwork as well as they were looking at me and they were shielded from the audience that I was a kind of barrier between them and the audience which is a very alien to them. Normally they're front of house. So, um, and. It was really interesting as we did each picture and we took it away, we revealed a bit of the band and, um, and you could see how they were looking at me and interacting with me. Uh, right at the end on the last song, we played for 10 minutes. I said to the band, this is going to take 10 minutes, the artist 10 minutes, you've got 10 minutes just to stand up there and um, whatever you feel with the music, whatever it um, inspires in you, just try and get that down on the, on, on, on the paper um, and so yes they started off and the band started to play and then slowly they got more and more confident and uh, yeah as you can see you'll be able to see you can see the results.
I mean, it was a total um, shot in the dark, this one. Uh, we didn't know how it was going to be received. Um, and we had artists and musicians in the audience and th they had never seen anything like it. It was a new experience for them. And first of all, because you're behind this barrier, you just don't know what they're thinking. And as the, um, as the, the concert went on and the, the sort of intervention, the, the, the artwork went on, there was this murmur and it started to feed from one side, from the front to the back where we were behind these cameras and you could hear people say, or, you know, I wonder what it is but, and, and what it's going to develop into. And then as you neared the end, the, the, the sound of the people got more and more and, and fed to us. But the next, you know, I got a very positive reaction, very positive and very warm reaction and, and excited about the possibilities for it. And a lot of people came up to me and, and the next day um, called me up and said, wow, you know, that um, we, we've never seen that before.